Hello everybody, this is Jim Sox. I am currently at the Port Olisar station at this time. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to customize my Terrapin. Okay, the quantum drive on this bad boy. If you notice, it's an EOS system. It's got decent range. The fuel per one meter kilometer is as good. It's a grade C. It's decent. All right. Um, we have it on the Andromeda, some other ships. But look at the range on the ones that are on the on the 315P. It's almost double the range, even though the fuel isn't as efficient. So I'm going to put that on my Terrapin. I want to get as much range out of the ship as I can. And frankly, 315Ps, you know, they'll I, I'll work them out. All right. Okay, now we've completely stripped a 315P, which I've got six of them, so that's no problem. We're going to save changes and put these babies out in the, in the world. All of these I don't need. I'm basically emptying out my weaponry because I don't use weapons at all. I'm I'm just going to better not even use them. It's just easier that way. All right. It's 
if you notice, Signals is 230 rating. Signals is a 210 rating. Signals is a 200 rating all around. So I'm going to use a Daybreak because I like the efficiency of 200, the signals of 200, and performance of 200. It's just basic all around. Size 2, grade 1, no sweat. I've got 9 in use. That means I can get 9 of them. I'm going to use this power plant. And if you notice a favorite of mechanics around the Empire, that means this thing should be easy to fix. We've talked about the performance of this um, Shimali. It doesn't come online very well. It's, it's a decent all-around um, um, shield generator, but I want something faster. I want something more military. Okay, efficiency 286. Signals is 315. Performance is 360. 286, 315. Performance is 345. Efficiency 300. Signals 300. Performance 300. This has a more, it has a better performance. It's usually on a Cutlass Black. That's awesome. We'll get rid of it. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of a lower efficiency shield, but it has a higher performance, and the signals are just 15 points higher. So now we've got that set up. Okay, and the Goliath has a lot longer range. The fuel is a little bit, little bit more, but uh, honestly, that that is a solid setup for my ship. Okay, now with this, let's take her out for a run in just a moment. Alpha zero seven, Roger. Basically, I don't accept contracts right now. I am not a contract mercenary. I am basically only for aid. I will make plenty of money with you guys. Okay, we have contact. We landed. Let's 
good. I don't trust anybody around my ship. Shadow's good. I'm alone. Online. Now look at those shields power up. That's a lot faster. That is a lot faster than they were before. All right, moving power grid. Our shields up. This is a pretty good IR signal of 3,500 plus an EM of 1,100. Well, roughly, it's going to be 1,200 once we get going. Um, that's decent. Uh, the IR signal is now being um, pushed out at 500 plus 231. So our real-time IR signature is roughly 700. Um, so that's pretty decent. We know our range is at max. We know we have no cannons. So let's make sure that the weapon systems are powered off. Exactly. The weapon systems are no longer even used. That's excellent. That saves me a whole lot of time and space and power consumption. I no longer have to worry about weapons whatsoever. Now, with the shields on, I'm going to show you guys just how quickly I get spotted. Ah, we have some bad news going up around me. We got that Aurora being a nasty little bugger. Alright, let's take a look. He'll probably like to see me. Engines online. complete landing gear raised all right we are weapons hot let's see if he attacks me
He is on intercept course. He is moving at 4,300, 4,000 kilometers. I'm moving faster than he is. He can't keep up. All right, we're in the clear zone. Let's move. This is Recon 1. We are moving into position on yellow. Getting clear of the zone again, because Yella has hostiles. Moving in at a much faster pace into the one-click zone. This is a much better ship now. Uh, we have not been detected. Shields are up. Everything ready. IR is good. EM is good. Uh, no targets. Checking Yale's system. I could land on Yella, but I have no actual purpose for doing so. I'm going to move on. And I have spotted Grim Hex. I see no true activity in the area. I don't see any SOS calls. Scanning, scanning zone. Cycling targets, no targets found. I am doing okay. I'm all doing okay, Command. Uh, awaiting orders for next mission. So this is about as quiet as I can get with shields up. So let's take a look at this. Shields offline. See how quickly the EM dropped to 51. That's good. Now with my new shields that are used for performance more than stealth, I'm going to see how quickly those things power on. Shields. Online. Shields charging. 
Notice this time with the performance, my engine power did not go down. My shields are already getting up there. This is a whole lot better of a system than it was just a little bit ago when I tested you out the first time. Now we have shields that can do the job. We have a weapon system that is perfectly capable of running at zero. Shields full already. We can start working on defending the ship. That is what I wanted to see after I tested the ship last time. So now I've got something where I can suppress my IR. My EM is going to be roughly 1200. I'm still relatively ghost-like, but I can now run shields when I need to. Shields offline. Engines online. See, now with my new engines, my IR level is hotter with these new engines in the ship. That is a good thing to see. That lets me know that when I customize my ship, I can change the properties of the ship depending on what I get for it, okay? So, this is awesome. I mean, I still have the EM at 630, roughly 700, the IR roughly 250, 300, depending. Um, everything else is running pretty solid on this ship. Um, yeah. Uh, now I have more distance for about the same fuel. Yeah, this is this is what I'm going to run this ship like. So I'm always going to have basically a 315P um, available for my own use so I can upgrade this ship and sw swap parts between the 315P and my Terrapin. And I'm also going to have um, availability of a, a really good shield system for it. Awesome. Cool. Okay, if you notice, uh, tank oxygen is a little low, but we'll be alright. I'm going to log out here. <laughs> 